five star show for you? I mean, and when was the yeah. last one you reviewed that you gave five stars? Well, I only do about sort of three a year, usually three or four a year. Well, I mean, the one that comes to mind is Gypsy. Yeah. Have you seen Gypsy? Yeah. Yes. Twice. Twice. Yes, have <laughs> I, yes. Would you see it? Yes. And, and then, then in the London, yes. Oh, well, I mean, if you see it, if it's a five star review, isn't it? I mean, you can't give it anything else. This is a great musical uh, that started in Chichester, is now just about to enter its last week, actually, at the Savoy. Um, it's a great Broadway musical. It's directed by Jonathan Kent with superb taste and flair. And then in the middle of it is this fantastic performance by Imelda Staunton that I said in my review is one of the greatest performances I've ever seen in a musical. I would now go back on that. I'd say it is the greatest performance I've ever seen wow. in a musical, not one of. Yes. It really is the greatest because she's taken the character of Mama Rose and rethought it, I, I think. So she's not this sort of titanic bulldozer of a woman. She's a, she's a very busy, chippy little woman who's so anxious for her kids, isn't she? And yet she makes the point, Imelda Staunton makes the point, that uh, she doesn't have real star power herself, and she knows it, mm. but she hopes to get, become a star via her kids. It's, it's a great performance. It's You've got one week left to see it, if you, you haven't should, seen yeah. it, actually. If you can, go, go. Um, when you watch a show, do you, when you watch a show, do you take notes? Yes, I've got a notebook over there, which... Steal it. What? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, okay, so you said that you wanted us to come back to live, sc uh, live screening. Sorry, say it again. When we mentioned oh, yes. that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Well, I, just because this question's come up a lot lately about, you know, whether live screenings of events can match the uh, sitting in the theatre. Well, obviously, it's better to be in the theatre. I mean, that goes without saying. Mm -hmm. But I would also add, I think it's better to sit sometimes in a cinema watching a relay of a play or opera in comfort with a drink in your hand than it is to sit in the worst seat in the theater in other words i don't see I, live theater, live performance is preeminent but i don't think it's so holy that we should not admit that some seats in some theaters are terrible you know and you get a pretty i'm told i haven't been there for, ever but some students I sent to the Barbican and said there are seats in the top level of the Barbican where you can't see the whole stage. They said they could see into the wings more than they could see the stage, you know. They said it was abysmal up there. And I thought, well, they're probably better then to go to a cinema and watch a live transmission than to sit in the worst seat in the Barbican. So I think we should acknowledge that. In general, I think it's the most revolutionary thing that's happened to the theatre in my lifetime. I think because now suddenly theatre which was always sort of condemned as elitist and, you know, for a tiny little select minority, is now available to anyone who wants it, pretty much. Mm -hmm. If you can get to a cinema, you can see the best of theatre. Mm -hmm. So, I, I bring it on. I think it's a tremendous innovation.